Today 6, On Your Side at 10, with 10 minutes of nonstop news. And the On Your Side forecast starts now. A tragic accident in Nampa. A mother backs over and kills her own child. Tonight, we take a closer look at how this could happen and what's being done to stop these senseless deaths. We're on your side with tonight's big story. It is a nightmare no parent wants to think about accidentally causing your own child's death. And tonight, we take a closer look at how this happened and what regulators are doing to make sure it doesn't happen again. Eric Fink is on your side with tonight's big story. This quiet Nampa street became a crime scene this weekend when a mother accidentally backed her SUV into her one-year-old son. Nampa police arrived to the 900 block of Horton Street and transported the toddler to a local hospital. That's where 14-month-old Julian Fuentes died Saturday afternoon. Sunday, Nampa police are warning all drivers and parents. We have this kind of loss every year in our community and all around the nation. And it's just really important that people take an extra second, check around your vehicle, you know, especially if it's a larger SUV, pick up those things where it does sit up higher. It's much more difficult to see small children. Grieving mother Ratana Fuentes released this statement, quote, no one is to blame but me. I wish I could go back and change it. I find myself wondering why and how this could have ever happened. I just hope everyone pays closer attention and holds their babies so close to them. And there is a national push to get these cameras installed in every sports utility vehicle on the road to help prevent the accidental deaths. The mother's SUV didn't have a backup camera like the one you see here, but starting in 2014, for safety reasons, the federal government will require every newly made SUV to put a backup camera on the dashboard. According to a recent New York Times article advocating for backup cameras, the statistics are alarming. More than 200 related backup deaths occur every year. More than 40% of those killed are children under the age of five. And in a recent four-year span, 440 children lost their life due to a car backing up into them. Because those statistics are so high, we decided to see if a backup camera could really make a difference. We placed this tripod in the blind spot of this SUV. The tripod is the size of an average five-year-old. From this view in the driver's seat, you can't see the tripod. Put the car in reverse and the backup camera pops on and the tripod pops up. Take Sergeant Shankle says the backup cameras are a useful tool, to watch. but they can't serve as a substitute for the driver's responsibility. Make sure you know where your kids are or family are at all times and make sure you're always looking back you know, check your mirrors, look behind you, and if you have to, get out of your vehicle and walk around it. Make sure it's clear. In Nampa, Eric Fink, today's six on your side. And at this point, no charges have been filed, and police tell us this is a tragic accident, and likely no charges will be filed. On the fire.